All right, guys, we're into the second half of the first round. Let's get a move on with, with match number for nine. So we have Matt V3 versus Max V2. All right, so I'm not sure if both of them can walk, but for the case, race time. So basically, you could say that um, our good friend Matt V3 may advantage here because he can walk. Not sure what about well, Max V2 can, but whatever. And they're off. Yep. So yeah, Max V2 can walk, which means that he can actually trip and lose the race. He was not careful enough. So literally, that gives Max V2 the advantage here because he's crawling, which means he can't trip easily at the cost of your speed. All right. So as you, as you see right here, our friend Max V2 is currently, oh, he trapped. Can he catch up in time? Let's see. Let's see. Can Max V3 catch up? Oh, Max V3. Let's see if everything is catch up to Max V3. Oh, he tripped again. Oh my God. What the heck? Come on. Well, if he continues his entire race, he is going to lose. And seriously, we're just sees a lot to the tournament. The walker always sees to lose the person who's crawling. I have no idea why, but it's just complete luck. So yeah, I guess you could say this match is going to go to Max V2 because Matt V3 tripped just enough to make him win. He won't be able to catch up now because or unless it's a shortcut. And I don't think so. Yeah. Not enough speed. Wait. It's the final. It's the final stretch. So we close, guys. So we close. And he could have what if he would have just gone around, around him. Or like, don't wait for him. But yeah. It's what we were expecting at the end right there. Oh, in the midway of the race. The winner is... Max V2, so he's going on to the next round, and good job, Matt V3. You tried your hard, but you had to trip me twice, so good yeah. try. And now, next up, in next match, we'll see who's ready for that. All right, there, folks.